Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff here. We're at the 30, 32nd IRF Junior World Championships. This is a girls 18 matchup. Doubles for the ladies. Trying to pull up their draw. Figure out where we're at here. That's boys. Team Costa Rica, Team Bolivia, Manessas Villason. Freire Solano for Costa Rica. Bolivia taking on Costa Rica. Langoria Christian is our head official. Is this part of, I, this actually might be part of pool play still. Yeah, I believe Gary. there are some. Because they only have four teams, so there's a lot of pool play. And then they'll go to a breakout, and they'll have a semifinals and a finals. So effectively, the, the final pool play. These are two pretty good teams in their age group. Bolivia on top, 1-0, 2-0 now. From Bolivia, Michaela Meneses and Florencina Villazon. Two of these girls played in the adults, Freire and the Bolivian girl, yeah, Meneses. So, yeah, Sofia Freire and Abigail Solano from Costa Rica. Oh, that's a nice grab there. She, there was a hold. Cerro Repite. Still only 2 0. Want to remind everyone we're using the Gearbox Black, the official ball of the IRF. www.gearboxsports.com. Got a uh, beautiful day of junior racquetball all day here today in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Wow, that was a really good cross-court pass by Costa Rica. And Manessas took it right off the back wall and pushed it down the line for a winner. Point, Costa Rica. Easy move by Solano. She needs to set up and drive through it because she can hit the ball well. Yeah, she seemed to be concerned with the hash mark. I'm not sure why if she's got a power Z going. That's a handout. No, so no. That's a tough serve. Very much. Manessas is going to take the shooting. I think anything in the back, you're gonna see Manessas kind of take. And, and Villa's on in the front. I mean, she's got a nice little stroke there, just going right into the front wall. Perfect. 4-1. Oh, my. Not sure Solano knew she got it, but ended up in a handout. I think the ball hit off a racket. She didn't know it. First game, early. Oh, that seems to be, they don't want to serve to Michaela. That seems evident there. As, is that Sophia on the, on the left serving, Gary? Correct. Freyer, she's been around a while. Real supportive parents and grandparents. Oh, 
perfect. Nobody home right side, winner. Coached by silver medalist in the men's singles, Andres Acuna. I don't know, uh, that was scores 3-3. Three, three. Christian calling a replay. I thought it was 4-1 before. That's well, what the scoreboard had. Yeah. Unless well, maybe he had it three, wrong. Three. So we're trying to jive folks with uh, the official scoreboard controlled by Christian Langoria who resides in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Soon to be an abogado, a lawyer. Costa Rica goes ahead first time in this game. We mentioned this uh, earlier, Dean and Alexis. Costa Rica last night in their match, they were playing on the return. They were doing an eye formation, which more or less put Solano out of the point. He had a couple of good serves by their opponent. Created a safety issue against the back wall. This is Solano serving. That's a dead ball hinder. Be first serve again. Nessus from Bolivia serving. Back wall set up. Visual hinder replay, first serve. Point four four. Oh, fantastic shot from Costa Rica. Lucky bounce. So, hey. hey, Solano, that's exactly what her motivation was. Listen, some, some people will say I'd rather be lucky than good. Never know. Not a good ceiling ball there. No. Straight up, straight down ball. Sure takes a long swing, clearing her opponents out with that follow through. Very nice shot. Ball live. the reach of Solano. Yeah, a lot of points to score down that glass wall right here early in uh, game one for, for both of these ladies. It's good serve. Good nice grab off the back wall. It almost made the front wall. Yeah. Empate, cinco igual. Nice big setup for Michaela. I don't 
don't know if she was asking for a hinder, but not sure. I think he awarded a side out, except it's five five. Irretrievable ball. Nice serve. Six five game one. 32nd edition of the International Racquetball Federation Junior World Championships. Excellent serve coming from Michaela Manessis. She's got a lot of high level racquetball in her already. You know, on the LPRT, she's been going to uh, the States to play a lot of high level racquetball with uh, junior boys as well. Uh, and it shows here her skill set. It does show, it does show. Seven five game one. One of many up and coming Bolivian players, even when they lose them to other countries, they have a, a great cadre of players that come up and take their place. shot by Florencia. Florencia or Florencia? How? Florencia. Florencia. Great shot. She hit it right at her. Last name, apellido, Riazón. Eight five. We'll have a timeout on the court. We'll take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. Eight, eight five, eight five. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. Bill Kibanova. Welcome back. Guatemala City, Guatemala. Junior World Championships. Dean Bear and Gary Mazroff. Miss Iwasa at the controls. I have to say she does a much better job than Pablo, Gary. So, Pablito, <laughs> you fired. Much better job than Pablo, he says. That's only because he's not around. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties here with our scoring, so we'll follow the official score, which is 10-5. <laughs> Failure to move there could be unavoidable. That's a long ball, but Mikhail is taking it right out of midair, just so that it doesn't go past her and, and confuse her partner. So 6-10. Fantastic shot, reverse pinch for a winner. Get Solana right side. Ooh. Wallpaper left side by Manessis. 
No response from Freire, so it's a handout here. The Nuevo Good serve. Completo. Oh, they hit her own partner. Point, Costa Rica. Dean, one, one person's observation here is that uh, Manessis probably should let Villason hit more shots. She's kind of timid to go after him because well, uh, she's been so aggressive. I'm, I'm going to agree with you, and I, I said it before when we were off camera. I'm, I'm not a fan. I mean, in doubles, it's a game, it's a game about, you know, position. But you need your partner. You can't win by yourself. Whoa. It's almost a 60-foot shot into the back wall. And she's taken over, and she's putting her partner, her partner out of position. I'm going to agree with you. Not to mention the safety factor. I'm going to agree with you. That's a, that's a Bolivian coaching concern, yet who's the coach for Bolivia? We Ezekiel don't see Subada. <laughs> one of the other juniors. You're at 10-10. Bolivia's doing what Costa Rica did last, last night with Solano, they really moved her out of the flow of the play because they were playing the I formation. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind doing it once, but you can't, it's not an all game thing because once you got to kind of break the momentum. See, but then that's what happens. Michaela tries to do too much and then she miss what would be considered one of a routine shot for her down the line. That's accurate. Another thing I typically see, especially from the developed countries, is, uh, is too much coaching. Players looking back, what, which every every time they're looking back to serve, they become clones rather than players on their own. It's disappointing to me. Look at that reverse pinch. It's 11-10, actually 10-11. See, you know, like there, and then they're gonna beat, you know, if if Michaela's worried about covering behind her her partner, she's gonna miss her spot on the court, which is just what happened. Yes. We cover, but uh, couldn't get liver. Cambio. Switch second server. Empate, once iguales. Came left that time, didn't reverse the Z to the right. Straight back to the right side, Viasson. Pushed it into the floor, side out. Bolivia trying to close out game one. First to 15, win by one. Two timeouts available for each team as Bolivia takes one of them. Yeah, they'll take a break. Let us take one, too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me.
The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Welcome back. Bolivia in the service box at 11. Now, interesting, uh, Mikhail, uh, Bolivia changed sides on the serve. And obviously that's, the, you know, a game plan. You want to serve to the weaker player. I get it, especially when we're, we're in a very tight match here at 11-11. Now it's 12-11. They're likely yeah. to have both players serving right side. And now they switch back. I love, I love it when I get double served. I get so psyched. <laughs> See if it helps build confidence in Solano on the right side for Costa Rica. Okay, that, that's a replay that hit the Bolivian player. First serve, Viasson. Solano. And Vanessa. a plum. Nobody home, right side. I mean, and this is where you pump up your partner. This is where Michaela really needs to pump up her partner. Hey, good serve, good serve. That point's because of you. You know, you really give her the confidence that she needs because on the court she doesn't appear that she has confidence. Oh, she hit her own, she hit her own. Uh, yeah, coming around. She hit her partner. So 14-11. Game point number one. Good oh, serve. she thought about it, yeah. And here comes the setup that Michaela wants. Costa Rica is there. Good save. This is gonna be trouble. We got ourselves a rally. Taking a stop play, contact. But that contact was really early. Probably better. Clean that point up. Now we have game point number two, Viasone, Bolivia serving. To Solano, Costa Rica. Manessis off the back wall. Freire. Ball still live. Good rally here, Dean. Until Game. Solano hits the ball into the floor to end it on behalf of Bolivia. Game one in the books. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the start of game two right here on the International Racquetball. passion I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport 
Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard. And, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. And we're live, folks. Gary Mazaroff along with Alexei Wasa. Pablo and Dean are taking a repast. We're about to watch Sofia Freire from Costa Rica, along with her partner Solano, served to Team Bolivia. This is the girls' 18 doubles, still pool play here at the Central Deportiva in Guatemala City. Side out. Christian Longoria is our head official. Bolivia won game one, 15-11. Good start for Bolivia in game two, 1 0. Okay. Solano got stuck on that right side, Vidrio. You got to clear out, give yourself an opportunity to swing. 2 0. Great serve. So that's one down. Cambio interno. Bolivia serving. Viasson. Manessas. Solano. Rare. Ball live. And errant backhand by Manessas gives Bolivia an opportunity to come in to stop the bleeding. 0 2 in game two. Comes with the jam. Set up. Too bad. Freyer had a chance, but uh, sloppy forehand on the right side, veered back into the middle, so it's a handout. Welcome uh, our partner back, Dean. Second server. Uh, Errant backhand again by Freyer, so it's Bolivia serving 2-0, game two. Communication concern there by Team Bolivia. Comes back with the high Z lob right side. It works for them. It's been working for them. Switched it up. One of the things I noticed is that a Florencia, um, she's just a little too far up front. And I mean, that might be part of the game plan to catch those pinches. Um, and let balls go, but I, I feel like she's, because of her court position, she's in a dangerous spot with the balls coming up the back wall. Okay. Ball down. First point for Costa Rica, 1-2 in game two. Alive. Ah, uh, into the floor, Manessis. Previous rally, backhand into the floor, now forehand into the floor. And now we have Empate, two serving two. Oh, 
Good hold up there, a little bit of safety concern. Florencia is right in the uh, path of the racket. Screen call. Those of you newer to the game, a screen serve is a fault serve. Two serves here, so this is second serve. Games are to 15, unless it goes to third game, which is a tie break. That would go to 11 points. Two timeouts per team per game, one minute in length. A two minute break after each of the games. And when there are lines persons, three usable appeals. We don't have lines for this. Longoria is solo out there. Florencia with a great return of serve there. You see Bolivia switch again just for the serve. Still tied at two. Excellent, floor for, uh, excellent backhand by Manessis. Biasson continues to hit those serves right side, rightfully so. In. Tres dos. That's a really good serve. Oh my. See, it's early. It's early in game two. So, with a really good serve like that, I'd really like to see her take a step back and take that return because it's 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 got it's in a good spot for her to make the return i agree and international as well as usa play now both server and his or her partner in doubles may leave their respective service zone positions as soon as the service struck they don't have to wait till the ball crosses the plane of the short line so there's plenty of time dean to clear out yeah. Good hands by Solano. Well, I mean, Mikhail is throwing Cover. bonds. Bombs. Good. We got a rally here, folks, until yeah. that last shot. Yeah, but look what set up that spot. That shot, that was uh, Florencia. She set that up with the ball onto the left side and, and it had to clear them over. Te acuerdo, senor. Good adjustment and a good read. <laughs> she thought she was gonna get hit, but that's court position right there. Yep. And we mentioned earlier, a couple of these girls have long follow throughs you gotta you gotta clear out usually it's a racket and a step in this case it might be a racket and three steps skipped in meanwhile team bolivia enhancing their lead to three five two in game two good save Skipped in. Good timeout. Both teams looked a little sluggish on that point. Fortunately for Bolivia, they got the point. And when we return, it'll be six serving two in favor of Bolivia. The Colorado we'll Springs back, Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Who passes the 
Gold Medal game. We're back, folks. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff, watching Costa Rica take on Bolivia. That should be a penalty. Is you gonna call it a repite or a penalty? Penalty, that's a penalty hinder. Around the world from up top just wasn't enough. She hit the she hit the right shot around the world, but she just wasn't she wasn't able to clear enough. We have Son from Bolivia, seven two serving. Solano, Costa Rica on the receiving end. Missed opportunity there for Costa Rica, Gary. She had the whole front side there. Just a little more delay, a little turn of the body. She had the right side, as you said, down the glass. Decided to push a re That was a smart shot. They caught Florencina on the left. Costa Rica. Ripped saying, it down the line. As I was saying, Dean, she tried to push a reverse pinch and put it into the floor. Meanwhile, 2-8. Three, make that three. Quick point by Bolivia. Good serve. But good. She read it right. And nice. And you know what? Because Florencia got, you know, was in that rally, it allowed um, Michaela to stay on her side, have her feet set with an easy kill down the line. Yes, yes. Yeah, excellent read again. She needs to take shots in there. See there, communication lapse. Standing there too far front, she had a duck to avoid her partner's shot. Yeah, and then it opens up for the shot from Michaela off the back wall. Michaela Manessas killing it down the line. Flat, Manessas point, 9-3, game two. This will set up the seating for the Sembrado tomorrow. Good pinch into the corner for a winner. Timeout Costa Rica, we'll be back folks. Stay tuned, we're on the IRF. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs. Welcome back, folks. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff. Swing and a miss. It's a good serve, high up that glass. 11-3. What I'm impressed with though is 
Team Costa Rica letting Solano play. That wasn't the case last night. Yeah, but you have to. There you go. Excellent shot there, Florencia. Florencia. Three points from match, 12-3, game two. Oh, she's gotta shoot that, Gary. There it is. Freyer ends the rally left side, hand out. I agree with you. You have an opening, take it. So look what they did there, they flipped. Yeah. It's not gonna build confidence on uh, Solano's part. That will, having a nice ripping backhand. As we indicated earlier, she can hit the ball, they need to let her do it. This setup, that's just a pure shot. It's off that vidrio, deep court, ball dies. 13-3, two points from the match. Make that match point. The skill. Why not, why not just put Freyer over there and flip sides? Well, so they can then, serve it left, but let, let her play. One person's opinion. Yep. There well, it is. She got that ball. Game two in the books, ladies and gentlemen. 15 11, 15 3, Bolivia. Finishes pool play. I think they're undefeated, so they might get the one seed. But that concludes our match. Thank Take you off the scoreboard. <laughs> Stay with us, folks. We'll have another couple matches to stream here on the IRF.